right back to these boards this is what it's going to look like without the colour it's going to be maybe a little lighter lighter grey than that right I paired these up so that's one two three doors these are going to be let me shift that out of the way these are going to be like that with a rail across and a panel in here so what I want to do is mark this inside edge where the panel is going to go if you just make a pencil mark like that you can make pencil marks like that by accident too easily so that can be mistaken what I was taught was a mark like that it's hard to make a mark like that by accident so inside there inside there swirling the middle then that mark points towards the inside edge there so like that you could put a V like I did on the tops in there but same again that can be mistaken you know you could accidentally make a couple of marks as you you know just by accident like that that could be mistaken as an inside edge it's hard to get that mark wrong so now that I paired them up stand all these so the inside edge is up Straighten these up, clamp them together, and mark out where my my rails are going to go. Right, so they're marked on the inside face. Right, I'm going to rub out some of them marks. This is a rubber. It's quite a coarse rubber. It don't mark the wood. Just remove the pencil line. I 
I don't remember where I got this, but you can see how old it is. Last a long time. So we're good to have any shop who got it. Alright, I'll just lay down. Little bits of wood to give me a nice flat surface. Always got to have bits of wood around. Alright, there's my pencil marks. I'm going to line that up like that. That one will go in there. And let's get it square. Tight up. So I'm going to put some clamps across. And on these end ones, I can use the stops that are on the domino. But then, maybe on this short one, I can use a stop. But on this one, I can't use a stop, so I'm going to have to put a pencil line. And there's a 10mm groove going around for the panel. So I need to come in, allow for that. Same on this one. I can use a stop for one domino. I just put two on that, I don't know. Maybe three dominoes. Uh, this is the middle rail. Dominoes, 22mm. So 90mm, 100mm. 22mm. I have about 10mm groove going around the inside here. Same on that side. I want the domino to be set back a little bit from that, so about 30 mil. I've got to mark that there, 30 mil. Thirty mil. A nice sharp pencil. Can't get in. Clamp. And those lines I'll use for the centre mark on the domino. Same again on this end, like I said, I'm going to use the stops to get me domino there. And I'm going to come in 30mm again. I'm going to do this. All the way around, all three doors. I'm going to mark these rails to the styles 5A, 5A, 6A, 6A, 6B, 6B. 5B, 5B, and 5C, 5C, 6C, 6C, 
and got our inside edge marked there, facing inside edge. Same over there. So we need to mark these as well. Bottom one just has one rail. Middle rail has two inside edges, so that way, that way. One over there. About to start making cutting the dominoes. Had this board kicking around for a while now. I just move these around as I need to. The domino cuts the base, I mean, is is a bit lower than this, so this needs to be raised up. But it gives me something to stop against. Don't need to clamp it down. Just hold it tight. And they go in there, do the ends. Just found a bit of board one day, screwed some buttons to it. When I'd finished with it, I threw it under the bench. And I've got it out <laughs> a dozen times now. Occasionally just have to move these around a little bit to suit the size of the timber. You don't want it hanging over too much, otherwise it'll, it'll tip around. But yeah, templates, jigs, things like that. It's a big part of joinery. It takes you 10 minutes and then makes life easier a lot after that. Pencil lines for some and these others. I'm going to use the first stop which will put me a domino about there and I think I'm going to put another one in the middle for these wider boards so I'll put the doors together and then mark those I couldn't decide before on my last video I said this is a 6mm cutter sorry my, I wasn't thinking it's an 8mm cutter still set at 10mm and the depth we've moved up to 50mm so we can get 100mm domino in here still set at no movement I'll just do a few of these got a lot to do so you don't want to see it all I'll do these It's a bit far apart. I think I want another one in the middle. Right. I mark those. I'll put the doors together temporarily. I mark those. Take them to bits. for the middle rails. 
top rail, just about that. Like I so, say, bottom rail, needs another one in it. Right, take my mind. I can't be asked funnying around putting them together, taking them to bits. So I'm going to mark, mark it in the centre. That'll do. If I mark it in the centre, I've got my edge mark here, but if I get it wrong for some reason, I should be right. I should be able to get away with it. And I'm going to do that middle cutter on this one. It gives me a bit of play. So if I'm not absolutely spot on, it should be okay. One fifty one seventy five. Do, Templates and jigs, like I said, can't go wrong with them unless you make the template wrong, of course. All right, put it on that one. About three mil play there. Already done this one, see. Put on my earth again. Cool, that'll work. Now I can take measurements for the panels. All the rest of the dominoes are cut. It's a short day today. But I do like that machine. It makes life a lot easier. And put those in quite quickly. Mr. Mortis are here. Doesn't like it though, I don't think. I like Mr. Domino, but Mr. Mortis, I don't like it. He's collecting dust. He still gets used occasionally, but not half as much since that one came along. Anyway, got things to do today. Uh, couldn't help myself. Had to just try it, see if it fits. It's a little tight in the middle there. That could be this that's bowed. None of it's fixed together yet, but gap at the top. Got a little gap up there. 
Once it's clamped together, I'll gain a millimetre or so. Same on the bottom there. So yeah, just thought I'd have a look at it before I get carried away. But...